now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. Well, five days a week, we go three hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means to take action. There'll be many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, there'll be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Mechanized, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow up six, NASDAQ up 11, S&P's up a buck and a half. Gold contract flat at 1,732 an ounce. Silver up 21 cents at $33.92 an ounce. Platinum down nine bucks at 1,654 an ounce. Copper up six pennies at 3.97 a pound. Light sweet crude up a buck four at $99.75 a barrel. Bonds down 19 ticks at 141.20. Dollar index off 34 ticks at 78.70. Euro up 24. Trading out at 132.85 and the yen up 65 at 77.69. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, what do you have? Another day, another dollar. Up a buck 99. You did 756 million versus 765. Dow Industrials in, inside the Dow Industrials. You're up six bucks, also 756 million, and of course we should be banging out about 1.2 to 1.3 billion up at these levels. Composite, Nasdaq Composite, the composite did 2.1 billion uh, versus 1.9 billion. The composite should be banging out approximately 2.7 billion. Good old Apple. Let's go take a look at Apple, folks. Apple, huge acceleration up, up 16 bucks. Hit 496.75. He did 31 million shares. And Apple uh, does want to reach into that uh, $500 area. It's going to be wild watching this. Um, you know, parabolic, almost. You uh, you hit 510 something tomorrow. Uh, then you get and then you get yourself a nice little parabolic move. Uh, right now, what it did coming into the close, uh, all it did is come into uh, where it had some uh, high volume at 11 o'clock this morning. Bond market. We go over to bonds. We take a look at bonds. What we have with bonds out here is this. 30-year bond uh, did 413,000 contracts, rejected the low. It was going into 487,000 contracts. Uh, that swing point there. Uh, we got down to 140.23. You closed out at 140.120. Uh, that's really, you know, the, the bottom of the consolidation is 140.21. It's pretty amazing. It was two ticks over it. And then it just took off topside again. Uh, we do, go take a look at the dollar index. And the dollar index, folks, had had done today three separate rejections of lows. Um, you know, bottom line is that uh, we closed out at the 78.70 area. Uh, now, the dollar index has to get inside 78.89. Right now, you're at 78.70. Now, what we did have is this. Now, now check this out. So the dollar really couldn't get any strength going. Gold, however, they whacked gold and they whacked it good. Um, well, when I say whacked it, you know, gold was up 25 bucks. And that sell-off came and that sell-off was fast and furious. Uh, you know, we had a high of gold out here today of uh, 17.55 and they sold it right down. They sold it down with some velocity also. Now, when, when it got up to the high, what it was actually doing was coming into the downdraft that had occurred going back to the 3rd of February. Uh, that's how that was set up. Uh, on, you know, on, on, the, on the open of the actual pit trading in gold on the 3rd, they came in with 2,300 large contracts selling it down. What we had done this morning is that we went up and we got up with 700 and, let's see, 7,000. We went up with 7,000. We had come down with 2,300. So bottom line is that that, could, that couldn't handle it. That's, that's the real bottom line. Okay, so now, uh, after the close out here, let's do LinkedIn first, L-N-D-K. L-N-D-K. Uh, LinkedIn, just come... Oh. Okay, LinkedIn, close... L-N-K-D, L-N-K-D. 
Length and closed at $76.39. That's trading up four bucks right now at 80.2021. Numbers on LinkedIn go like this. Um, they see 2012 revenue at $840 million to $860. Uh, the first quarter revenue, they're looking at $170 to $175. Earnings per share, they're looking at uh, $0.12. Cents. And at a buck eighty, well, not a buck eighty, meaning eighty. We're at seventy-six right now. Um, yeah, that, that makes sense. Eighty is the. Uh, you'll see that four days ago we were pushing into a swing point. It was eighty-one, eighty-three to be exact, and it had volume. Uh, so that baby does want to get into that uh, level. Uh, we look at uh, True Religion, and uh, True True Religion right now looks like it's going to have uh, uh, some problems. True True Religion. Uh, the, it closed at 37. They halted the stock. And let's see what they're saying. Let me just look at this chart first. Okay. Oh, that chart doesn't look that bad, man. That's going to be interesting what they have to say about this. Okay. True religion. Okay, so let's see what they say. Net sales, $119 million. The revenue is 400. Uh, they see t 2012 revenue at 450 to 460. Their earnings per share is a buck 85 to a buck 95. They missed their forecast. Uh, the bottom line is that they missed their forecast. But I can tell you, let me pull this back up again. This is going to be wild watching this shake out. So let me pull the true religion back a bit. Take a look at it. We'll put this back to 2010. Put it on a weekly. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so true, true religion. Well, this is going to be, I can't wait to see this thing open. Okay, I'm going to bring it back to 09. Okay, I see what's happening now. Okay, so if we bring true religion back to um, O, I'm going to bring it back to 08. You put it on a weekly. What you have is this, is that this got over your consolidation. The consolidation that got over, it had 16 million shares trading to 31. It got over that with 12 million, then it got over that with 7 million. There she is. That's it. So uh, the the, bar, the top of that consolidation is 31. Right now you're at 36. So she's going to get right back inside that. Uh, it looks like 26 is a stopping point for true, true religion. BRKS. Let's go take a look at BRKS and see what we have here. Uh, this is Brooks Automation. That closed at 11.29. It's trading out at 11. 98 right now, and numbers on this, 97 million was their revenue, uh, the earnings were 6 cents, chart-wise, what do we have here? Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's, not, a bad, it's not a bad setup, that's, that's the bottom line. Uh, we go take a look at NUAN, this is a SERI uh, for uh, Nuance Communications, uh, this closed at 31, that was at a high. Uh, well, it, I hit a high today of thirty-one dollars and fifteen cents. It closed at thirty forty-five. Right now, it's trading at twenty-seven seventy-one. Uh, and this is the whole Siri thing with uh, Apple, and of course, <coughs> voice recognition. Revenue was three hundred sixty million. The earnings per share was uh, thirty-six cents. Though the estimate was thirty-six cents, they only took in thirty-four. EXPPD PE. This is. Uh, uh, Expedia, Expedia closed at uh, thirty-four dollars and sixteen cents. That's trading at thirty-two right now. This is the travel company, of course. Expedia, what we have with the Expedia out here, she had an estimate. Uh, this is interesting. She had an estimate of fifty-two cents, and she came out uh, with fifty-eight cents. So she got a, a better number. Uh, baby's not holding though. Well, you talk about a little volatility in this one. Look at this baby today. This is volatile. So this little baby went from 32 to 34, monster volume, and it can't hold the price. Let me just see this thing. Man, this is amazing when this happens. Okay, so see, right off the bat, this, this is where this, someone always knows something. So at, right off the bat, folks, okay, what you had here is this. Uh, you know, this is where the bulls and bears come in. Uh, one of the bears sold it down right from the get-go. Big, big trades, too. And, you know, it, it inched all the way back. When I say sold it down, sold it down to 32 bucks today. Inched all the way back up to the highs again. And um, bottom line, after the close out here, um, down, down three bucks. 
We take a look at some of the high volume stocks out here, even though we didn't have high volume. We had Bank of America up five cents. We had Cisco down 43. Citigroup was off 57. Uh, Diamond Foods. Uh, let's go look at Diamond Foods. We were talking about that last night. This is, you know, fraudulent accounting. Diamond Foods, yep, blew the B, B point away with volume. Okay, so check it out. You get it. And now, the conservative ABC goes like this. An A to B equals C to D, folks, is two straight line moves. Now, when you have a gap in between it, which uh, Diamond Foods does, a gap acts as another swing point. So I'm taking the small swing point. If I took the large A to B, it's out of business. If I take the small one, what you have is this. That's 54 bucks is A. Uh, B is down there at uh, 26, 36, so it's uh, it's 28 dollars. The C is 40, so you can say okay, it's 12 bucks. Don't touch this thing, folks, because this thing is going to be 12 bucks, 10 bucks, five bucks. Bottom line, you know, fraudulent stocks you don't want to touch. Let's go to Mark in Denver. Hey, Mark, what's going on? Too much, Tom. How you doing? Doing great, man. You having a good day out there? Good day. Cool, man. So. The bulk shippers. I've been holding on to GNK, Genco Shipping. Okay. I've had it uh, since, let's say, about 590, 595-ish, um, way back, and uh, like the August time frame. And I'm just trying to, it looks like it's, it's had a pretty good sign of strength the last, uh, two out of the last four days. And I also was looking over at um, Eagle Shipping, E-G-L-E, that had a pretty Good move. I just wondered if you knew anything about what was going on with the bulk shippers. Let's, let's take a look. We got uh, Genco first. We're talking to the Godfather out in Denver right now. If you remember, <laughs> you know, the Godfather, that was the name of their company. <laughs> Four dollars the low, 12, 8, 1282 is the high. I love that movie, by the way. That <laughs> Marlon Brando, man, he is just yep. absolutely awesome. Okay, so we bring this back to 2010. We put this on a weekly. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So. Volume's pretty decent. Yeah, you stay right where you are with this, man. Okay, so what you have is this. Let me bring it back to 20 and 9, actually. Yeah, nice. Okay. So what you, what you don't have yet, you don't have, a, a, you know, a break of the whole trend, you know, with conviction. You have a break of the trend, okay? Now, the best part I like about it, see, where you bought it, it what he's looking at, folks, is this. At, um, at 645, this thing got, got basically pushed down... And that's going to be hard to break when it comes back downtown. You stay right there, Mark. We're going to come okay. right back. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. And, folks, at 4.30, we're going to have Dick Beauvais on, a bank analyst. We're going to be talking to banks. We're going to be talking about mortgage settlement. We're going to be right back.